Where are you on your feelings about what happened and the person responsible? Regarding the sentencing, mm. um, definitely no justice there. We wanted three consecutive sentences. Mm. You know, by not getting that, it, it meant that only one child mattered when it's concurrent. And mm. what you mean is that had, had one died, he would have got 13 years. Exactly. Yeah. Um, three lives were taken. Yeah. And he still got 13 it years. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't equate. No. So it's no. like two lives didn't matter. No. And even though no amount of time will ever make up for what's happened, you know, anything less than life has been insulting to us. Mm. Insulting to our boys, the memory of our boys, you know, um, and everything else. Um, it's a struggle, I think, <coughs> to, for any mum or parent watching this morning, and there will be many at home, to know how it is you sit here, <laughs> you know, mm. dressed, hair combed, you're sat in a TV studio. I mean, I just, I don't know how you are doing it. What is it that's got you to this point? I think it's the fact that we want everyone to know what happened to our children. Mm. Um, our sentencing laws need to change. And without us being out here doing it as difficult as it is to even get up in the morning, it would be easier to just hide under a rock and stay yeah. there. Mm -hmm. um, but if we don't do it, they don't have any voice. Yeah, so we're, we're their right. voice. Yeah. And Lewis, what about you? Because you were there on the night. Uh, you've lost dear friends, friends. Um, and you must have your own shock to deal with. How, how have you been? It's just trying to do everything for them now. Yeah. Try and get them justice. And you want to see the, t the way the sentencing has changed. Yeah. Um, what would you like to, to change? What, do you think there should be a, a complete change in the law? Or when, is it specifically to do with the number of deaths? Um, no, I think it's the law as a whole. I think mm. we have prehistoric laws. Um, you know, if you, you look at um, death by dangerous driving, if you, if you look at that <coughs> law, you know, what people get for... for you know, being reckless um, and, and driving dangerously is horrendous. There's, there was a case um, back in November 2013. Um, Thomas Edwards was his name. Mm. Um, he was hit and ran. The driver was disqualified and had no insurance. When it came to sentencing him, the judge couldn't give him a sentence mm. because he was already out on licence for another crime. Mm. So we could only send him back for that. Um, just to let you know what the Ministry of Justice is, is saying about this, it's confirmed that it's decided last year to increase the minimum sentence for death by dangerous driving from 14 years to life. And it says the legislation to make that happen will be brought uh, as soon as it can um, into Parliament. Um, Lewis, can I just um, ask you, It's um, you're so young and mm. to have to be dealing with something so life-changing for you how, what are you how are you coping with it what do you how do you in a sense you know you you survived and so your family are the ones that got you back you know i've just got to try and make them proud now mm. do everything i can to be the best i can and you ran after the driver yeah. was that pure instinct do you think what what made you do that it just heat of the moment mm. it just didn't really think Mm. Didn't want him to get away. And perhaps yeah. if you hadn't done that, he, he might not have been found. Mm. So you did something extraordinary in the moment. Can you just, I mean, you know, mums know their kids, but I think their friends know them as well. Yeah. What were the boys like? Just funny. Every time you'd round them, it was smiles. There's never a dull moment with all three of them. You're just going out to have a good time, aren't you? Mm. Mm. We've been told by their friends, you know, um, some of their friends that they made their childhood. Mm. They made their childhood because of how nice they were, respectful. You know, all they did was like to make everyone laugh. You know, they were friendly. They had hundreds of friends, absolutely hundreds of friends, you know, that respected them, that this has affected, you know. Well, it's wonderful to hear that from your perspective, isn't it? That mm. such a difference was made to so many others by your yeah. boys. And, you know, this idea of drink driving, you know, mm. I mean, it is taboo, you know, we don't, but it's still not clearly something that everybody 
thinks about, you know, and I suppose it, you know, it makes you wonder whether, you know, you hear about those breathalysers on steering wheels, you know, the car doesn't start if you've had a drink. It does make you think, you know, wish there is technology out there that you wonder whether the government should be actually... Do you think people realise when you know, they get, get in a car drunk, the consequences? Because anybody looking at you this morning, the four of you and your terrible Shattered. loss, will yeah. be thinking, oh, my goodness. But do you think people mm. don't think when they get behind a wheel drunk? They don't. They don't. They... They're, they're letting them get away with it. They, people can be caught two, three, four times. Yes. And they're they not should. punished for it. Mm. I think... And, and then something like this happens. And... I, I, I think also, because our case is different to death by dangerous driving, I do just want to say that, but going back to the drinking element, mm. I think some people don't realise mm. how much they are drinking because you can drink just two pints of mm. regular lager at 4%, mm. which isn't a lot, and be over the limit. Mm. So I think sometimes it's learning yes. mm. what and over you the know, limit is. And, you know, Lewis, you're a young chap, and, you know, 17, <coughs> 16, 18, it's the sort of age where people are finding out about alcohol and drinking. I mean, Lewis, has it changed your view at all? Or have you had even a chance to think about it, about whether actually we should, there should just be zero tolerance? Like, one drink, you don't drive. You know, whereas at the moment you can have a bit of a drink and... Like Tracy's saying, you just don't know where you are with that. Do you think it's changed the idea amongst you and all your friends about actually drinking and driving? It should be and a complete no-no. Yeah, it's made us think a lot more, even about just driving in general. Has it made you sort of think about the, you know, because often youngsters get in cars and don't yeah. know? It's made us a lot more want to be safer. Yeah. You well, I mean, you nervous. are giving out such a strong message mm. and... You know, the pain is palpable, you know, and it, it, I'm sure that will take a... It won't go away, but you are incredibly strong uh, and absolutely massive respect to the fact that you made it this morning. We, you know, it's astonishing, really, that you can sit here, I have to say. Can I just say about the petition that's in Parliament? Absolutely. Um, that bill has been waiting there since October. So it is a bill ready to go into Parliament. As the mm. Ministry of Justice yeah. have referred yeah. to. It's the yeah. process that's holding it up, but isn't if it? it? The thing been is, in, the process... If it had been yeah. in... He would have got life on Wednesday. Not just for us, for those two Coventry children, mm. for every death since October. Why an important bill just sitting there? If you want yeah. to add anything to it, like I've been told, put it in, then add to it. Yes. Don't hold it up. Yes, because in the meantime, families like you feel yeah. injustice, actually, yeah. in the meantime. Well, we've petitioned and give, you know, Nick heard 38,454 signatures, plus we've got another 5,000 since that, and, and growing you know, that needs to not be ignored as well. Absolutely. Well, uh, thank you to all four of you for coming in and we wish you, in your recovery, if there is such a thing, and dealing with continued your strength.